I had a custom piece. We're gonna be painting oils. I started the background last night on this. It's gonna be unique looking when it gets done. I have my little bin here so my chemicals that they splatter, they don't go onto the ground because I'm real conscious of that. I got, um, I got some paints and stuff out here. We're gonna be doing oils. And we're working on this. Now, I can't wait to see it because it's gonna be kind of abstract with faces. It's gonna be a soulmate's painting. This is just a rough sketch. It won't look like that when it's done. When I'm outdoors, it's a beautiful day. My son's chopping wood. <laughs> Say hi, Ian. <laughs> we got a load of firewood. So I'm outside. I'm painting. It's a beautiful day to do it outdoors. I want to get this done. This is an anniversary gift from a lady to her um, fiance or husband. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's her husband, but um, it might be fiance. But um, it's got to be done by May 15th. I'm going to try to get it done sooner. I have other pieces i got to get working on and whatnot. But now's the time to work on commission pieces. And I'm kind of excited. I don't work abstract a lot. So this one's going to be interesting for me. So you can see in this portion, I'm starting to put in the rough undercoating. The, the underpainting that really just adds the basic tones to the painting. It's, it's nowhere near what it's going to look like when it gets finished. But it's just where you have to start. This is a great place to kind of stop and show. She's obviously not done. So what I do is, this is a beautiful painting because I wasn't given an image to look at. She didn't want to, she just wanted to represent them. She wanted to represent kind of like soulmates, to represent who they were, not who looked like them. So I started with a rough sketch of a profile, a rough sketch of a man's face. But it, it, that's just a rough sketch. That's just for me to get the features where they're supposed to be. What I like to do is take it from there and then kind of like sculpt the painting like clay. So I've been, you can see at her mouth, you know, I got a rough idea where her mouth can be, but that's not it. I'm kind of working at her nose right now. Her getting the nose the way I want it, the shape that I want it to, um, it's still not quite right. So I'm down a little too far here. It's not right, and I don't know how to explain it to you, I just know it's not right, but it's coming to life. It's getting distinction to it, and when it's right, I'll know it's right. So, I kind of take a rough sketch, because I'm just doing a face, and I'm molding the face and making the face, and I don't know how, I just know when it's done, and when it's right, and when it's not right. So, what I do, just because I like to tell people, because people, anybody can do this, to be honest with you, you know, you just have to practice it. You know, I'm working with a medium I don't work with all the time, so, but the thing about oils is that they stay wet. Now, I chose a quick drying white. Um, it's a undercoating white, which is nice because it dries a little quicker, plus I'm out here in the baking sun, so it dries in it a little bit so that it's workable, but it's not completely dry, so I can come in with, like, the bla glazing liquid and stuff and thin it out and whatnot, but, so it's actually really good for doing the underpainting and then... What I'll do is I'll, once I get it set, I'll let it dry and then I'll come back in and I'll glaze in the depth and the lights and the darks and stuff like that. So that's why it's kind of chunky right now. But um, I'm I'm developing her face as we speak. So I haven't gotten too far into it because I got to kind of get some initial color, some initial background underpainting in there and then go from there. And like I said, I'm working with a medium I don't work with all the time. So this is fun for me. This is a learning experience on how to make oils do what I can make acrylics do very easily but the beauty with oils is that they don't dry you know I can come back and work in the background if I want to it's not dry I can touch it up I just had to you know if I got her lips a little off or her nose off I can go touch up I had to touch up around her nose a little bit um you know if I wanted to make her lips smaller or her chin smaller or something I can fix the background without repainting the whole thing which is beautiful that's why oils are very nice for this. And I didn't like what I had going on in her mouth, so I just took the paintbrush and blended it enough so that I can come back in in a little bit and I can go in there and redefine the lips to go with the face. I think I need to finish her nose, to be honest with you. But it's going to look really nice with the contrast with skin tone. She's going to be very pale and he's going to be darker. 
and um, they're going to be soulmates, so there's going to be some abstract stuff going on coming off of there, but I want to get their faces done first. But, um, yes, they're, and, and you know what, and this will represent them. They're both beautiful people. I was checking out their Facebook page. They're just beautiful human beings and um, just gorgeous, actually. So, but sometimes, sometimes something doesn't have to look like you to represent you. Sometimes it represents you more when it doesn't look exactly like you. So, um, when it gets, just gets the feel of who you are, which is what I think this is what's going to do. So, I love it. It's going to be fun. And we'll go from there. So, I brought this inside. And as you can see, I didn't like her nose. So, I removed it. And I decided to add a new nose. And this nose I like much better. Now, she has a lot of underpainting done here. And she's gotten some of the highlights done. I started putting some hair in. As you can see, it's not finished. Her face isn't finished. She's very um, shadowed. And, and, and it'll, you'll see the progress down the road as we go. I just I, I add to it a little at a time. You can see I keep adding in highlights and keep blending. I got the hair here. I love the hair. I do do a little bit more work on the hair. Her neck's not done. I removed her shoulder. I didn't like the shoulder. I decided I didn't want it. I wanted her to be at a different angle. You can see her neck starting to be completed here. And and there it's done. So she's almost completely done. There's a little bit more left to do on her. And I'll, it's so subtle you probably won't be able to see it. And it's time to start him. And and I do the same process with him. You can actually see the, the sculpting done more on him, I think, than on her. I mean, his face doesn't end up looking anything like this. <laughs> this His eyes are like bugging out of his head there because they're not done. But I have to get rough color in. And then once the rough color comes in, that's where I can go in and start creating. You can see right in here, his face is starting to mold and starting to shape. You know, I start getting the nose and I start putting some shading and I start contouring some stuff. And, and you can just almost see his face take life through here and just, it, it just shifts. And I'm not looking at anything, it's just coming to life. So. And every time I step back, you know, I might let it dry for a day and then I just make another change. And like, his eyes aren't done here yet. I don't like his eyes. His eyes are definitely not complete in this picture. But and you'll just see him starting to take shape as we go. And I love it more and more. I, I wanted him to look mystical. I got some facial hair in there. I wanted her to, too. Like, they're cosmic lovers of some sort and fading off into the distance. And, and there you have it enjoy i hope you like it i love it it was fun and um she's real happy with it and there's your finished product